Hi, everyone. Well, I have the privilege of leading us in a devotion right now. I want to speak out of two places. I want to speak out of uh, Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 through 50, and John chapter 19, verses 26 and 27. What I want to try to explain is the overwhelming importance of the church family. As we go through what we are going through today as a nation, believers need one another. Um, turn with me to Matthew chapter 12, verse 46 for a moment. But first, let's pray. Lord, we want to thank you for this day. We want to ask your blessings upon it. And Father, we want to ask you to open up our eyes so we might behold wonderful things that come from your law. And would you lead us? Move me aside, dear Father, and let us see you and you alone in your most glorious word. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In in um, Matthew chapter 12, verse 46, Jesus Christ is speaking to the crowds. <clears throat> While he is speaking in verse 46, we are told that his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak with him. In verse 47, Someone went to Jesus Christ and said, Behold, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. Verse 48 is an interesting verse. Jesus answered the one who was telling him this and said, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And then stretching out his hand, we are told in verse 49, towards the disciples, he said, Listen now, behold, my mother and my brothers. Now look very closely at verse 50 because it is the essence of what I want to say this, more, this day to you. In verse 50, Jesus says, whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven, he or she is my brother, my sister, or my mother. I submit to you that it is here, and as we're going to see in a moment in John chapter 19 from the cross, that Jesus begins what is his new family structure, stating the importance of the church and our faith. Because never forget verse 50 of, of Matthew chapter 12. He says, For whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven, this one is my mother, this one is my brother, this one is my sister. What our Lord says in Matthew 12 and from the cross, turn with me now to John chapter 19, verses 26 and 27, sets a new way of thinking within the family of the church. From the cross, in great pain, Jesus pauses enough to talk about the family. In John chapter 19, verse 26, he says to his mother, obviously, John, the, the disciple whom he loved, was standing nearby. He said to his mother, woman, which was a, a statement of respect, woman, behold your son. And then in verse 27, he says to John, the disciple whom he loved, behold, he says, your mother. And we are told from that hour, John took Jesus's mother into his own household. I want you to note Matthew 12 and John 19 makes clear that Jesus is starting his faith family and putting a great importance on them, more so than our secular families. How do we know this? Well, even though Jesus was in great pain, through his beloved mother and his disciple, John, he taught us how to care for one another within the family of God. Why do I say within the family of God? Well, we know that Mary and Joseph had children after the birth of Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 13, for instance, verses 54, 5, and 6, Jesus was in his hometown teaching in the synagogue. They, the people he was teaching, were astonished. They said, where did this man get this wisdom and this miraculous power? In verse 55, we are told, was he not the carpenter's son? And was not his mother called Mary? And his brothers, his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, it says in verse 56, are they not all with us? Where did this man get all of these things? So with that in mind, have you ever wondered in John 19, when Jesus says to his mother, there's your son, talking about John, John, there's your mother, care for her. Why did not Jesus 
have his own brothers and sisters care for his mother. I believe it's a simple fact. I believe it's because his brothers did not believe in him until after the resurrection. We are told in John chapter 7, verse 5, for not even his brothers were believing in him. I believe he put his mother in the care of someone he knew would love her and spiritually care for her. You see, Jesus is saying family equals believers. Now, I'm not saying that we're not to love our families, not at all. We are. But within the church, within our faith, we are to care for one another, especially in times like today. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.